Hi Raymond, and uh, welcome to Cars and 60. Thank you very and much. It's a pleasure to be on your. Oh, team. pleasure, man! And uh, happy belated birthday. Uh, yeah, we wish you all yesterday. the best, yeah. and thank you for coming down with these beautiful classic Fords. And uh, just to get it started, man, just give us the backstory of this Ford Sierra I. RS. Three liter IRS. Yes, and that, to be corrected, it's one of 500 ever made, exactly. plus minus. Yeah. Okay, basically, the story behind the Sierra is they were launched in 1984. Yeah. I owned the previous three generations of them the 89, the 91. Yes. But I always had a yearning to get the IRS, which was going to be a limit. It was a limited edition. Yes. And it, I knew one day it would be a collector's item. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So what had happened was before Sam Cod, that was Ford, we're going to retire the Sierra in favor of the front wheel drive Telstar. Yes, yes, I read that. They decided to do something with the, this was called the muscle car, the XR6. Yes, I remember. Before they retired it. So I remember. They got together with Lucas. They done extensive testing and they fitted a Lucas fuel injection system to okay. the car. Obviously, the internals had to be upgraded. Okay. Uh, new valve train hydraulic lifters, compression ratios were changed, bigger inlet valves. Okay. Uh, better oiling on the motor. Uh, the kilowatts jumped up from 110 to 117. Torque went up from 230 to 260. So I, I, this is my fourth one, and it's such a different car if I compare it to the other. To the other XR6. One. To the XR6. XR6. So and this is when the, it's, the IRS stands for Rensport. Rensport. Okay, yeah. I actually Googled the car before yeah. coming out today just to, just to read up like what the RS stands for and like, you know, the numbers and stuff. You've owned the XR6 before? Yes, I've owned the 1984 XR6, that was 101 kilowatt. Yes. Then I owned the 1989, that was the Mark II with the misted lights. That, I think they bumped it up to about 110. Okay. And I, yeah. And uh, when did you uh, purchase this RS? I was lucky to, to get my hands on this last year, December. I was actually losing also, hope it's a, of it's getting a, it's one. It's still under new, like, I mean, it's, it's fresh, fairly fresh under your ownership. Yes, yeah. you know, even though I had the others, my mind was all, always on that on the, uh, on the sport. And uh, this car obviously was, from what I read on Google, they just before Ford, like what you said, uh, were going to retire the Sierra. In 1992, they put, put out plus minus 500. It came out in 1991. Yeah. And they, they ended the production in late 1992. 92. Okay, and what has been done on the car since your ownership? Okay, it is stock standard. Only thing it's got in a custom exhaust system. Custom exhaust, and obviously you've changed the I've wheels. I've changed the rims, obviously, yeah. And uh, the kit and stuff, is that all standard on the car? It's all standard. That's how the car came from? Yeah, Pratt the striping, you know, that's standard. It's absolutely standard. Can we just do a quick walk around? Sure. This is our original color. Yes. I don't think I'm going to see another one in my time because of the number that's been produced. But I mean, the uh, BBS wheels always works on our old school car. They're like, a, you know, an old school wheel. Yes. They did come standard with 14 inch rims, but we just felt, I always felt they look bigger with the bigger yeah. rims. You that's know, the RS better. badge. Yeah. RS badge on the rear. This is the exhaust. Was this a Durban or a Jobo car? Uh, it was from Greytown. Uh, yes. Yeah, so okay. Done. Okay. Can I open the? Sure. You can go ahead. Interior. Classic '90s interior. Hey. It's in really, really good condition. And can we just uh, start it up and open the bonnet, please, uh, Raymond? So the fuel injected V6, yes, that's eh? the intake to the fuel injection. And you notice these engines are much more quieter than the previous one because they have hydraulic lifters. The other ones had manual adjustment tappets and they did get noisy with time. Okay, and uh, any future plans for your? Uh, not really, I want to keep it stock standard. Uh, uh, original know. as possible. Yeah, so you know, yeah. and uh, like I said, they made 500, so you know, I don't want to kill the originality of it. There are very few around. Definitely. And uh, I obviously know the car's not for sale. No, You no, waited years for it, but what price would you actually consider or uh, get, you, get you interested? Because I know like the classic Fords have become highly collectible in South Africa. I know on the UK market, these cars can fetch a lot of money, but uh, I can't put a price to it. I won't let it go. It's, oh, really? You know, <laughs> Thank you. 
LV, welcome to Cars and 60. And uh, you were the guy that we were chatting to about this uh, cool classic Ford feature. Yes. And you are the son of uh, Raymond that we just uh, interviewed and spoke to. And he's told us that he's handed down his XR3 to you, which is behind you, after 29 years of ownership. Correct, correct. And uh, just take us through your car, give us your story about your XR3, Avi. Okay, so it's a 1986 Mark III Ford Escort yes. uh, XR3i. Yes. Um, we've owned it since 1992. Um, and if my maths, my maths are correct, it, that'll be ownership for 29 Nine years, years, like you mentioned. Uh, okay, so I matriculated in 2007 uh, and one of the things my dad did tell me was if I got to, through matric, I would be able to take over this car and That's then use awesome. it to university and back, uh, which I had done. So yeah, the car has been with me ever since. It's the awesome first car stuff. I've driven. Um, yes. And yeah, I learned how to drive on uh, with this car. And uh, can we just walk to the car and you can just take us through what's done here? Sure. You said the car is still in original color, original... Uh... So yes, the car is full OEM. Uh, basically what you see is what you get. It's just the wheels that are aftermarket. That's been changed out recently. Um, we did manage to source these clear indicators as well for the front. They're normally orange. Okay, uh, that's cool. So that's something that's, that is, it, it is a Ford part. You said the only things changed on this car is the wheels and the exhaust. And the exhaust pipe, correct. So yeah, pretty much on the exterior, that's the only two things that, are, that have been done. Yeah. Uh, Can I just go into the interior just to see what sure. this looks like? Thank you. Very, very cool. It's in mint condition for an 80, 80s model. Can we open the bonnets, please? Uh, sure. Of you. Wow, let me just get a good glimpse of what's going on here. Insane condition. Are we just take us through what engines? Okay, engine so is. it's a 1.6 uh, CVH motor. Yes. Uh, equipped to the KJ Tronic uh, fuel injection system. Uh, that's what differentiated the XR3i from the XR3. Which was carburetor. Uh, which correct. was carburetor, correct. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a purely mechanical fuel injection. System. Um, nothing electronic whatsoever um, at and the moment the car does have some uh, minor modifications yeah just uh, take us to what you have done Avi. okay so it's got a reprofile camshaft um, it's got a vernier pulley as well because they're very yes. sensitive after you change the cam yes, yes uh, to correct. get the timing correct uh, the head's been gas flowed uh, it's had some work done on the valves as well uh, the bottom end, it's got uh, enlarged pistons as well. Um, an exhaust system, uh, performance flatbed BMC filter, and yes. it's got the factory branch from Ford. Uh, so the XR3i the came with branches from the factory, so we oh, haven't changed cool, yeah? that. Oh, that's very cool. Um, and just an interesting fact that you guys are telling me that you have an air conditioner footed here yeah. by your dad. Yes. So yes. he engineered and created an air conditioning system from a modern car to fit into this car. Correct. So That's my, insane. Uh, well, you you know how the climate can be. Yeah, right? in Durban, yeah, day. you need an icon. You ne to enjoy this car, you got to be driving it in Definitely. comfort, especially getting used to drive used to driving the new cars. So my dad built a bracket. Uh, he relocated the alternator. Uh, he's changed the water pump. He basically worked around everything. He built it on the ground up, and then we threw it in here. Uh, very, the only thing cool. he didn't do was laying off the pipes and gassing off the aircon. Uh, but everything else, all the mechanic done build was done by him. Yeah. Any future plans for this uh, XR3? Uh, to be honest with you, no future plans uh, as yet, Laven. Uh, obviously, just keep maintaining it uh, to the best of our ability and drive would you, it. Uh, would you ever sell it? No. Never? Uh, yeah, it's worth uh, too much sentimentality. Yeah, I understand. Can't I understand. put a figure next to it, you know? Definitely. Okay, uh, thank you for coming through, Avi. Thank you that so much, It was an absolute Lavin. pleasure meeting you guys and seeing uh, your passion for the Ford uh, being passed on from one generation to the next. Thank you, Lavin. And uh, I'm sure you guys created a lot of attention driving down to, uh, here today, following each other in these two classic Fords. <laughs> yeah. Awesome yeah. stuff, man. Thank, thank you so you. much.